Kusunda Kusanda, is a language isolate spoken by a handful of people in western and central Nepal. It has only recently been described in any detail. Rediscovery For decades the Kusunda language was thought to be on the verge of extinction, with little hope of ever knowing it well. The little material that could be gleaned from the memories of former speakers suggested that the language was an isolate, but without much evidence either way it was often classified along with its neighbors as Tibeto-Burman. However, in 2004 three Kusundas, Gyani Maya Sen, Prem Bahadur Shahi and Kamala Singh, were brought to Kathmandu for help with citizenship papers. Their members of Tribhuvan University discovered that one of them, a native of Saki VDC in southern Rolpa district, was a fluent speaker of the language. Several of her relatives were also discovered to be fluent. There are now known to be at least seven or eight fluent speakers of the language, the youngest in her thirties. However, the language is moribund, with no children learning it, as all Kusunda speakers have married outside their ethnicity. It was presumed that with the death of Rajamama Kusunda on 19 April 2018 the language went extinct though Gyani Maya Sen could be the only surviving speaker. Classification Waters 2005 published a mid-sized grammatical description of the language, plus vocabulary, which shows that Kusunda is indeed a language isolate, not just genealogically but also lexically, grammatically, and phonologically distinct from its neighbors. It appears that Kusunda is a remnant of the languages spoken in northern India before the influx of Tibeto-Burman and Indo-Iranian speaking peoples, however it is not classified as a Munda or a Dravidian language. It thus joins Barushaski, Nihali and potentially, the substrate of the Veda language in the list of South Asian languages which do not fall into the main categories of Indo-European, Dravidian, Sino-Tibetan and Austroasiatic. Phonology Vowels Phonetically, Kusunda has six vowels in two harmonic groups, which are arguably three vowels phonemically. A word will normally have vowels from the upper pink or lower green set, but not both simultaneously. There are very few words that consistently have upper or lower vowels. Most words may be pronounced either way, though those with uvular consonants require the lower set, as in many languages. There are a few words with no uvular consonants that still bar such dual pronunciations, though these generally only feature the distinction in careful enunciation. Consonants Kusunda consonants seem to only contrast the active articulator, not where that articulator makes contact. For example, apical consonants may be dental, alveolar, retroflex, or palatal. T is dental t, before i, alveolar t, before e, u, retroflex, before o, a, and palatal c, when there is a following uvular, as in coke, tilde, t, o, k, we. In addition, many consonants vary between stops and fricatives, for instance, p, seems to surface as b, between vowels, while b, surfaces as beta, in the same environment. Aspiration appears to be recent to the language. Kusunda also lacks the retroflex consonant phonemes common to the region, and is unique in the region in having uvular consonants. Does not occur initially, and only occurs at the end of a syllable, unlike in neighboring languages. Only occurs between vowels, it may be, plus. Pronouns. Kusunda has several cases, marked on nouns and pronouns three of which are nominative Kusunda, unlike its neighbors, has no ergativity, genitive, and accusative persons. Other case suffixes include ma, together with, lage for, na, from, ga, ji, et, in. There are also demonstrative pronouns na and ta. Although it is not clear what the difference between them is, it may be anime si. Subjects may be marked on the verb, though when they are, they may either be prefixed or suffixed. An example with am eat, which is more regular than many verbs, in the present tense n, is, other verbs may have a prefix ts in the first person, or zero in the third. Long-range comparisons before the recent discovery of active Kusunda speakers, there were several attempts to link the language to an established language family. B. K. Rana, 2002, maintains that Kusunda is a Tibeto-Burman language as traditionally classified. 
Others have linked it to Munda, see Waters 2005, Yenisian, Gurov 1989, Barushovsky and Caucasian, Reinhardt and Toba 1970. This would be a variant of Gurov's proposal if Sino Caucasian is accepted. The Nihali isolate in central India, Fleming 1996, White House 1997, and again with Nihali, as part of the Indo Pacific hypothesis, White House et al., 2004. None of these proposals took Waters' more recent data into consideration, and none is widely accepted. Kusunda pronouns do resemble those of the languages of the Andaman Islands and West New Guinea. Compared to Juwoi, we have TSI, likely from asterisk T versus Tui, I TSI Ye, asterisk T Ye versus T Ye, my new versus UI Thou. Kusunda has no initial t, ni ye asterisk ni ye versus e ye thy gina that versus kit. This see a summary here. See also Kusunda word list, wiktionary, references further reading Reinhard, Johann and Suyoshi Toba, 1970, a preliminary link linguistic analysis and vocabulary of the Kusunda language. Summer Institute of Linguistics and Tribhuvan University, Kathmandu, 1, Toba, Suyoshi, 2000. Kusunda word lists viewed diachronically. Journal of Nationalities of Nepal 3, 587-91, 2, Toba, Suyoshi, 2000. The Kusunda language revisited after 30 years. Journal of Nationalities of Nepal 3, 592-94, 3, Waters, David E. 2005. Kusunda, a typological isolate in South Asia. In Yogendra Yadava, Govinda Bhattarai, Ram Raj Lohani, Balaram Prasane and Krishna Parajuli, eds. Contemporary Issues in Nepalese Linguistics p. 375-396. Kathmandu, Linguistic Society of Nepal. Waters, David E. 2006. Notes on Kusunda Grammar, a language isolate of Nepal. Himalayan Linguistics Archive 3, 2006 1, 182. Rana, B. K. Significance of Kusundas and their language in the Trans Himalayan region. Mother Tongue. Journal of the Association for the Study of Language in Prehistory, Boston, Ix, 2006, 212 218. Donahue, Mark, and B. H. O. J. Raj Gotam, 2013. Evidence and Stance in Kusunda. Nepalese Linguistics 28-38-47. 4. External links Nepal's mystery language on the verge of extinction. Vimal Gautam, BBC. The 12th of May 2012 Kusunda language does not fall in any family. Study. Himalayan News Service, Lalitpur, October 10, 2004 Partial Bibliography Portal to Asian Internet Resources Project. Bibliography for Seldom Studied and Endangered South Asian Languages. Germany, John Peterson. Rana, B.K. A Short Note on Kusunda Language. Janajati 2 Quarters, 2001. Rana, B.K. Linguistic Society of Nepal New Materials on Kusunda Language, presented to the Fourth Round Table International Conference on Ethnogenesis of South and Central Asia, Harvard University, Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA. May 11 to 13, 2002. Rana, B.K. Significance of Kusundas and their language in the Trans Himalayan region. Harvard University, Cambridge, M.A. October 21 to 22, 2006. Waters, David. Notes on Kusunda grammar: A language isolate of Nepal. Himalayan Linguistics Archive 3. 1 to 182, 2006. White House P. T. Usher, M. Rulin, W. S. Wong, 2004. Kusunda, an Indo-Pacific language in Nepal. Published online before print March 31, 2004, 10.1073, PNAS.0400233101 PNAS, April 13, 2004, Volume 101, Number 15, 5692-5695, Obscure Language Isolate Will Die With This Woman. The Hot Word, Hot and Trending Words Daily Blog at Dictionary.com, 3 June 2012. Retrieved 2 August 2012. Kusunda Linguistics, a new.